Good evening, everyone. We are gathered here this afternoon in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not here to witness a ceremony. Rather, we're here to enter into a time of praise and worship with Lance and Mary Beth. And so who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Thank you. You guys can have a seat. Lance and Mary Beth, I want to say on behalf of your friends, your family, and everyone witnessing this ceremony this afternoon, how much an honor of it is it, it is to be here. The circumstances may have changed the location, but I believe what God intended for today cannot be changed by anyone or anything. The Bible teaches that marriage is God's first institution. In the quiet garden of Eden, before the forbidden tree had yielded its fateful fruit or the tempter had touched its inhabitants, God looked upon the man and determined that it was not good for him to be alone. Then in God's wisdom and grace, he made a partner, a helpmate for him. And as scripture so beautifully portrays, the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept. Then God took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. And the Lord God fashioned into a woman the rib which he had taken from the man and brought her to the man. And the man said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of the man. For this, a man shall leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall become one. And so marriage originated in divine grace, and it was designed to promote human happiness. Its vows are holy in God's sight, and these vows will remain the foundation of home life and social order. Will you guys pray with me? So Jesus, thank you for today. Father, thank you for Lance and Mary Beth and all that they mean to everyone here. God, thank you for being here in this moment, Lord. I pray that, God, this would just be a time to celebrate you and to celebrate what you're going to do in Lance and Mary Beth's life. God, I pray that you would guide this time, and, Lord, that you'd be with us. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. Yeah. Lance and Mary Beth have been a couple that I've looked up to for a long time. Since the beginning of their, their relationship, I think since their relationship started, almost every single person knew that this was going to end in marriage. I have to be honest though, as a junior in high school while Lance was a senior, we led our high school basketball student section together and caused a little trouble. And so at the start of every fourth quarter, we would all sit down and Lance would be the only man standing up out of about 200 people. And he would stand there and he would hold up fours while everyone else was sitting down. And just to be honest with you guys, I would look upon him right beside him and I would think, man, nobody is ever going to marry this guy. <laughs> but Mary Beth did it. And I'm so proud of that. But speaking as one of Lance's friends, someone who's been a friend of his for a long time, thank you. You've made him a better man, and I would say vice versa to you. Lance talks about you all the time, in the locker room, even after then. And so thank you for making him a better man. But throughout everything, you guys have always been by your side. And every single room you walk into in the future, I know you're going to light it up together because you guys are two of the most life-giving, patient people I've ever got the privilege of knowing. And so thank you. As I was thinking about this ceremony today, I kept coming back to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This is a book that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church of Corinth where he was teaching them about love. And I think this verse sums up you two perfectly. It says this, it says, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. And so as you guys begin your marital journey tonight, let this be the foundation of every single thing you base your decision off of. And so if you then, Lance and Mary Beth, have freely and deliberately chosen each other as partners in this holy estate or holy backyard, and know of no reason why you should not be united in marriage, please join hands and face each other. Lance, do you take Mary Beth to be your lawful wife and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her, so as long as you both shall live? I do. Mary Beth, do you take Lance to be your lawful husband, and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him, so as long as you both shall live. Awesome. In the spirit of this love, 
you will be signifying your relationship by exchanging rings. Rings are the outward visible sign of the invisible commitment you are making to the Lord Jesus Christ and to each other. As you exchange these rings, I ask you to be aware of how they portray the ideal marriage. The circle of the rings with no beginning and no end represents wholeness and a sense of eternity. The gold, the pierced of all nature's metals, signifies purity in the marriage relationship. These rings are a wonderful symbol of the vows which you are taking, and it is my prayer that you will be reminded of the sacredness of these vows each time you touch these rings. And so Lance, if you'll take the ring. Awesome. So as you place this ring on the third finger of Mary Beth's left hand, repeat after me. <laughs> with this ring. With this ring. I Lance wed. I Lance wed. With all my worldly goods. With all my worldly goods. I endow in the name of the Father. I endow in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Here you go, Mary Beth. Mary Beth, as you place this ring on the third finger of Lance's left hand, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I Mary Beth. I'm here, man. <laughs> Wed and with all my worldly goods. Wed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Many some butter. <laughs> Wed and with all my worldly goods. Wed and with all my worldly goods. Endow in the name of the Father. Endow in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me pray for us one more time. Father, we ask your blessings on Lance and Mary Beth. God, as they build a life together, may it be a life of mutual respect encouraging each other to be the best they can be for your sake. And now by the grace, mercy, and peace of God and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest upon them and on each of us now and forevermore. In Christ's name, amen. amen. And as much as Lance and Mary Beth have in the presence of God and these witnesses consented together to be joined in the lawful bonds of matrimony and having declared the same by giving and receiving a ring as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power invested in me by the state of Alabama, I pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man tear apart. Lance, you may kiss your bride. It is now my pleasure to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Lance Cleveland. Hey guys, I was asked to inform y'all that there will be food in the kitchen and a reception out here following. We're going to get these chairs set up around the tables, but you guys are more than welcome to help yourself to some food in the kitchen. Thank you guys for being here.